اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شر علی صدری ویسر علی عمری وحل العقدۃ من لسانی افقہ قولی اوائڈنگ دی ارریلیونٹ حدیث آف دا پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم برا ابن عاظب رضی اللہ عنہ نریس دیٹ اے ولیجر کیم ٹو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ سیڈ او رسول اللہ ٹیل می سچ اے ڈیڈ which may take me to paradise. He mentioned some deeds to set slaves free, to relieve the neck from the burden of debt, and to gift an animal to benefit others from its milk and besides some other deeds. And then he said, If you cannot do so, then restrain your tongue to speak nothing but good. By Haqi Aswad ibn Asram رضی اللہ عنہ narrates that he requested O Rasulullah, advise me. He, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Control your hands. I said, If my hands are not in my control, then what else can be in my control? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Control your tongue. I said, If my tongue is not in my control, then what else can be in my control? He then said, Do not use your hands except for good works and do not say, from your tongue except what is good tabrani majmaul sabai aslam rahimahullah narrates that umar ibn al khattab radhiyallahu anhu saw abu bakr pulling his tongue umar asked o khalifa of rasulullah what are you doing he said indeed this tongue has brought me to the place of destruction rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there is no part of the body that does not complain to the tongue of its sharpness for its evil sp- for its speaking evil there is no part of the body that does not complain to the tongue of its sharpness for its speaking evil by haqi hudayfa radhiyallahu anhu narrates that i was sharp tongued with my family i said o oh, rasulullah i fear that my tongue will take me to hell he said where has your seeking forgiveness gone i undoubtedly seek forgiveness from my rab a hundred times every day musnad ahmad adi ibn hatim radhiyallahu anhu narrates that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said good and evil for a man is between his two jaws good and evil for a man is between his two jaws tabrani majma uz zabai hasan rahimahullah says that a hadith has been conveyed to us that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said may allah have mercy on his slave who speaks good and avails the benefit of it or remains silent and so remains safe bay haqi abdullah ibn amr radhiyallahu anhu narrates that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said He who keeps silent gets deliverance. He who keeps silent gets deliverance. Tirmizi Note It means that he who restrains his tongue from useless talk is safe from many troubles, distress and harm of this world and that of the next world. A man is caught up in troubles mostly on account of the tongue. Mirqat Imran ibn Hattan rahimahullah narrated that I went to Abu Dhar radiyallahu anhu and found him sitting alone in the masjid with a black cloak wrapped around I asked him o oh, Abu Dhar why this solitude he replied I had heard Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying solitude is better than an evil companion and a good companion is better than solitude Speaking what is good is better than silence and silence is better than talking evil. Bahaqi Abu Dhar radiyallahu anhu narrated I went to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said O oh Rasulullah advise me He mentioned a long tradition till he said you observe prolonged silence for this drives away the shaitan and helps you in your religious affairs Abu Dhar رضی اللہ عنہ said advise me more he said avoid too much laughing for indeed 
it brings death to the heart and removes the nur meaning light of the face by haqi anas radiyallahu anhu narrated that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam met abu zar and said o oh, abu zar shall i not tell you of two qualities which are light on the back and are very heavy on the scale as compared to others abu zar radiyallahu anhu said yes verily o oh, rasulullah he said adopt good manners and observe prolonged silence adopt good manners and observe prolonged silence i swear by him who has control on the life of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam none of the deeds performed by any of the creation is as virtuous as these two deeds bay haqi muaz ibn jabal radhiyallahu anhu narrates that i asked o oh, rasulullah is all that we say recorded for us and will we be punished for it he said may your mother be bereaved of you understand well that there is nothing more that throws people over their noses into hell fire than the harvest of their tongues indeed you remain safe as long as you are silent but you speak but when you speak it will either be recorded in your favor as a good deed or against you as a sin tibrani majmaus zabai note may your mother be bereaved of you is according to the arab tradition an address of affection and not of cursing abdullah radhiyallahu anhu narrates that he heard rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying most of the faults that the son of adam commits are by his tongue most of the faults that the son of adam commits are by his tongue tabrani majmaus sabai a maid slave of the daughter of abul hakam radhiyallahu anha narrates that she heard rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying indeed a person comes so close to paradise that between him and paradise there remains a distance of an arm's length then he speaks such a word because of which he is removed from paradise more than the distance from madina to sana musnad ahmad majma uz zabai bilal ibn haris al muzni radhiyallahu anhu a companion of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam narrates i heard rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying any of you says something that pleases to allah which he does not deem important but by this saying allah destines his pleasure for him till the day of resurrection and someone who says something that displeases to allah which he does not deem important but by this saying allah destines his displeasure for him till the day of resurrection tirmizi Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radhiyallahu anhu narrates that Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a man says such a word not considering it to be a significant and only to make people laugh by which he plunges himself into the depth of hell to a distance more than that between the earth and the sky Musnad Ahmad Abu Huraira radhiyallahu anhu narrates that Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a man speaks a word pleasing to allah without considering it of any importance yet allah exalts him in ranks for it and a man speaks a word displeasing to allah without considering it of any importance due to which he falls into the hell bukhari abu huraira radhiyallahu anhu narrates that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a man speaks something thoughtlessly A man speaks something thoughtlessly because of which he falls deep into hell to a distance more than that between the east and the west Muslim Abu Huraira radhiyallahu anhu narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Indeed a man says something not thinking it to be harmful and for it he falls into hell equal to a journey of 70 years Tirmizi سبحان الله وبحمده سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك سبحانك رب العزه اما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين 
والحمد للہ رب العالمین برحمتی کیا ارحم الراحمین لا الہ الا اللہ محمد الرسول اللہ